great show for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Our NEP team will be giving you a wrap-up on the strange epidemic that has been sweeping the school as of late. Also, we'll be talking with seniors and other students about what they really think about the superlatives. Let's visit Keegan Kyle with his report on the sports world of the spring at Grant High School. So, how long have you been coaching? I've been coaching track and field since 2000. Nice. You've enjoyed I've been coaching here at Grant since um, 2005, 2006. Have, uh, have you seen sort of ups and downs in the, in the track team that, in terms of like uh, people coming out to do it or just overall? I think it's, the participation is generally consistent. Yeah. We average right about 160 athletes wow. a year. It, uh, we have a solid core of juniors and seniors that can kind of help us transition. It's not like we're just going to no. fall off and then yeah. these guys come up. No, these these guys, uh, Julian and what would have been Mira, what will be Mira, and Alex over there, okay, those are seniors, you know, they, they kind of care, carrying us through this period. And for you to have success, you have to mentally be able to withstand uh, all of the negative ch charges that will be thrown at you when it's time to work out or when you don't feel like working yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, because a lot of it comes down to, you know, how hard do I want to work today? Yeah. So if you're not mentally solid or, you know, you're not the type of person that is a self-motivator or a strong mental, you'll back away. You know, if you're, if you're a self-motivator or if you, you have a strong mental capacity or you're relish those type of situations, and you're going to rise to the occasion. Cool. Well, thank you so much. That's it? Yeah, All we... Right. Cool, cool, cool. In other news, Avery Morris has for you a quick report on a few of the senior superlatives here at Grant High School. Avery, take it away. Alexis, what superlative did you win? I won Biggest Flirt. Oh, and so why do you think you won that one? Um, because I'm friendly with... Everyone, pretty much. And so, do you think biggest flirt has a positive or a negative connotation? Um, I think it can go both ways, but for me it's positive because I'm just friends with a lot of people and friendly with everyone. So Jordan, what superlative did you win? I won runner-up for uh, Most Entrepreneurial. Oh, and why do you think you won that one? Well, I'm always in the student store and, you know, I try to get money on the regular, so... I feel like that's a strong reason why I won that. Do you think, does it make you feel special that you won it? It does. It is actually kind of cool that the end of the year book for mm -hmm. so, yeah. And have you taken your photo yet? I have not. I think we're scheduled to do it Friday, so tomorrow. What are you thinking about for the photo? Suit and tie, some money, some money glasses maybe. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So Sienna, what superlative did you win? I actually won two this year. I won Most Likely to Save the World, and I won Runner-Up for Most Likely to Brighten Your Day. So why do you think you won those two? I don't know. Maybe because I bake cupcakes for the Brighten Your Day one, and for the Save the World one, I do want to save the world, so I'm glad I got that one. And how do you intend to save the world? That is a very good question, and I'm not at liberty to ask so, in I, 10 years, check with me in 10 years. I think she has a secret recipe for saving the world. Thanks, guys. Trouble is on the horizon here at Granite High School, ladies and gentlemen. There's a new strain of the so-called senioritis sweeping the school and infecting the population. Here now for a more detailed report is the NEP TV team. I'm Julian. I'm George. We're out here on the prowl looking for seniors that have been caught up with senioritis. It's a deadly epidemic, folks. Watch out, it's highly contagious. We've got one, George, we've got one. Oh my uh, god. What do we do? What's wrong? Senioritis. All right, here we have two senioritis victims. Tell me, what are the symptoms? Well, you know, I, I get itchy eyes in class and my, my headaches. Sounds like a typical symptom. There's no yeah. cure. There's no cure. 
when I go to class, uh, my heart my heart starts pounding like crazy, way way more than normal. When I sit down to do homework, I start shaking and sweating, and I just I can't handle it. Another typical symptom. It's not good, folks. My nose starts bleeding occasionally. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> Here we have a victim in its natural habitat. Follow me. Look at him over here. Look at him. I'm here with Albert, best teacher in Grant. Uh, How you doing? I just wanted to ask you about what, what it was like when you had senioritis in high school. Senioritis. It was a disease. My senior year, I think I went to class once every third or fourth day. At one point, one of my teachers, my yearbook teacher, said, do you still go here? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, when? Well, we think it's kind of taken over the school. Does it, do you think you've seen it more this year than in the past? Absolutely. I mean, in years past, I've taught seniors, so I've seen a lot of it. But this year, I don't teach seniors, so you wouldn't think that I wouldn't see it, except for I got this guy. He's a senior in my sophomore class, yeah, my sophomore awesome. U.S. history. It's great. And he's there once every couple of weeks. So I see it. I, I'm just kidding here, but, but I do see senioritis in this guy's eyes. He can barely hang in there, barely hang in there, and every day he walks in, and it's just like, when is school out? So, yeah, I see it. But you know what? You guys have earned it, and you partly deserve it. you got to hang in there, but you partly deserve it, okay? All right. Cheers. It's a disease, isn't it? Yes, sir. We were wondering if you knew about it. You know, if it were merely a disease, I couldn't perhaps suggest it a cure. But it's a malady. It's a social infection that destroys the very marrow of the society. I have no cure for it. We sincerely appreciate you tuning into NEP TV this week. We hope we've brought you joy and satisfaction in this week's episode. Be sure to tune in next time. This is Cameron Cookies signing off.